Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Uh, got a product here. This is called the All Like A L L L I K E power station. This is the SN1000 power station. Uh, it is a mid-sized power station, uh, 1000 watt output with 1368 uh, ramp up surge. It has two AC slots. It has uh, quite a few of the features that I like on this. I'm going to talk about the features because there's some when, when I do uh, power station reviews, I always look, well, what's, what makes this one any different than any other? So I'll tell you, one of the reasons that I like this one is it's small, but it is a midsize. It uses lithium batteries, uh, so it has a fast charging rate. You can charge this up in about three hours off of AC, which is really good. You can also charge this up off of solar. It has a pure sine wave inverter, and I will show you that I test this with my microwave to make sure that it is a pure sine wave inverter, and it would handle up to a 1,000 watts. It will. Uh, and it has uh, two AC slots in the back. It has the USB ports in the front. On the front, it has a U two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports. USB-C ports are real nice for charging your phones a lot faster than a USB-A port is. Uh, and then it's also got two dedicated uh, 10 volt, 10 volt DC plugs down here. That's on the front. It's got a button for the uh, it's got a button for the inverter to turn on. It's got a button to turn on the other plugs down here. Now the plugs on this are on the back side of it. And one of the things that I want to show you here is that this does not use a uh, transformer. So you can plug this in directly into the wall. Instead of a lot of the units that I've gotten in the past that have a big transformer that you have to plug into the wall to charge this up, this one plugs straight into the wall. I really like that feature. I wish more of them would do that because I don't like to go find a transformer and carry around a transformer with me. I just want to use the power cord, okay? It also does come with the DC power cord. You can also charge it from uh, your car. You can also charge these from solar panels. I believe up to a 100 watt solar panel. Charging it off of AC, it works very fast. It charges at 450 watts, so you can charge this up in about three hours. That makes it really convenient. If you're using this, you want to take it someplace, you can plug it in, have it charged up fast, take it with you camping or uh, tailgating or whatever it is that you're doing. On the back side, it has two AC plugs right here. That's your two AC plugs. And uh, I did check this out with different various various AC appliances. They all work. Like I said, I ran it with my microwave. I'll show you that. It is about 22 pounds right around there. You can lift it up. It has two handles on it. It's compact. I like the fact that this does not require a transformer. You can plug it directly in. You can also charge it from solar, AC, or from your car. So this would be a good size unit for if you want to take camping or tailgating or if you're using it outside or using it in your home. And I will show you that it will run a microwave. It has good capacity, 1,087 watt hours is a really good capacity for these things. And it is a bit smaller than some of the other units that I've, I've uh, tested for a mid-size unit, which I like. And it does, like I said, it doesn't require a transformer. That's a plus in my book. It also does have the lights. It does have the lights. It has the emergency and the flashing lights, brighter lights for your emergency system like that like that and it is a good bright light it'll light up a room like that it, it, it seems to be well made the case is all well made uh the cords in the coming off of the back may bother some people because if you're setting it on a bookshelf then your cords are going to be out the back side of it but that's just something you have to decide if you if you can live with i, I think it's fine uh so i'll go ahead and show you this with a test with the microwave okay so the first test that i'm going to put this all like power station through is i'm going to see if it'll run my microwave up here it's a brand new microwave Microwaves do not run really well off of a, a modified sine wave inverter. This has a pure sine wave inverter, so we're going to see, and I can tell really fast, if it has a really good pure sine wave inverter, because the microwave will run great. won't make a bunch of noise or anything like that. And this microwave is a fairly big one. It runs almost a 1,000 watts, so we'll see how many watts it runs off of this power station here. So we'll turn it on, and then we'll turn on the inverter. Says that's on. My microwave should come on now. There's my microwave is on. We'll set it for one minute. Come on. I'm listening for any weird noises or anything. It doesn't make any noises. It came right on and started right up. And it says that the microwave is running, pulling 992 watts, almost a thousand watts. That is a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter with a 1360, I think 1368. Uh, max which is a surge but the running power is 1000 watts and it's pushing almost that it's pushing 992 watts so it's pushing it right up to the limit and it's working just fine running that microwave 
All right, so that's a good test. Works well. We'll run it for one minute just real quick, and we'll see how many, much power that takes from the, the batteries. Okay, the microwave shut off. It used approximately 3% of the battery capacity to run it for one minute. So that tells you approximately how long it would take if you was going to run this for three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, something like that. That's very good, actually. It has good capacity, and it ran that very well. It has a good pure sine wave inverter in it.